All right, everybody, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I am JR. This is my giantly messy yard, uh, which is messier than usual. So, um, leading up to my vacation, I kind of neglected a lot of this stuff. or And then I got this dually frame unexpectedly for a good deal. Um, I pulled this out here to swap rear axles. And now it turns out I'm going to put that cab on that chassis. I knocked my gantry over with my old crane and broke the broke the legs. Or my old tractor broke the legs. Had to rebuild it. There's just a lot going on. The point of this video is I'm going to try to... Actually, this is all lined up perfectly, <laughs> unintentionally. So if you remember this... It's my little off-road hoist that I would tow around. I had a lawnmower originally. Then I had a John Deere 318 garden tractor, which is a little beefier than a lawnmower, but not quite as beefy as this. Uh, and now I have this, and this has a three-point on it. I could have put a three-point on my John Deere. Um, one of the selling points of this was, A, it's not blown up, and B, it already has a three-point on it. The lift capacity on this is like 1,200 pounds. Um, and I'm not sure exactly what that means. Like, is that where it stalls or that's where it blows up or whatever? But, uh, I'm looking, I was originally thinking of a way, I was going to buy a boom pole, which is just a thing that goes out here. And when the three point goes up, I'm sorry, the three point goes up, the pole goes up and your load goes up. And I'm like, well, what can I use that I already have? And the design of the boom pole that you get at Tractor Supply is basically this thing, and it pivots right there at that pin. Just basic math, trigonometry says it would lift a lot higher if it replaced that top link, passed through, then that would be like a fulcrum. So anyway, I was, I was making things complicated, as people tend to do, and I thought, man, what can I do with stuff that I have? Oh, well, I have this thing. And it's been good for me. I've had it for some years. I've had it before I had my shop, even. I would move stuff up here with this, with these pneumatic tires. Um, they go flat in between uses. They're all, like, half slime at this point. And, and I don't really need to pull it around. So, long story short, I think... I was, I was thinking of a way to, like, cut this ram off and put that pivot onto a three-point. But actually, I think I'm just going to take that leg off and lay the whole thing up there on that three point and weld it to it the end um i have a lot of heavy things like that bumper and that axle and there's a front axle around here and there's some stuff around back and i want to i need to get this cab up which the internet says is 1100 pounds plan a is to take the doors off of it and pick it up with my newfound hoist if I can um, and then just move it over pull the chassis onto the trailer pull that chassis back here pick the cab up put it back on it might not be able to lift it I don't really know so in that case plan B would be to lift it with the thing tie it because this isn't tall enough now I must have had 10 foot posts before and now I have 8 foot and I wasn't paying attention, but this is not tall enough to put my chain fall. Um, so hopefully this contraption I build here will completely replace this contraption anyway. So, um, yeah, I am going to get to work here and just I'll show you guys real quick. There's just a couple bolts down there at the base to take off um, and then these two here and this is cut at like a 15 degree angle and it doesn't need to be so I'll probably throw that in a chop saw and just cut it off so it's nice and square um, like I said I'm just going to lay it up against a three point I bought this thing for 50 bucks on Amazon um, and I also already have one I bought another one because I thought I might cut this one up but we'll see we'll see I don't really do these kinds of things with a plan. Like I don't sit down and design them on SketchUp and all that kind of shit. I just, this is what I want to do and I try to do the simplest thing to accomplish what I want to do and go from there. Um, 
So yeah, let me, uh, I got a fresh bottle of gas. Let me get my tools out and I'll bring you guys back. All right, so not exactly rocket science. I know I said I was gonna put it in my chop saw, but I just sawzawed it off and it's as cockeyed as can be. And I think I'm gonna roll with that. Um, I gotta clean the paint off up here. You see, I've already cleaned it off here and here where I'm gonna weld it. I gotta clean it off in this leading edge up front tight together and burn it in um, I can always run additional little chunks of steel from here like you know like a fish plate I could actually make fish plates and be nice if I wanted to I don't think that's too necessary but uh also it's unlikely that my welds are just gonna fail suddenly and spectacularly they're probably gonna crack and I'll have warning I'm also gonna pull this out um, I don't know that this tube is sturdy enough, but we'll find out. I'm gonna pull it out, weld it, and uh, run another brace from here to here, and maybe a little bridge, maybe not. Probably not. Um, I'm probably not even gonna miter cut it. I'm just gonna lay it up there, a piece of square tube. Uh, why don't I have a piece of square tube? I always have a piece of square tube. Here's a big one. But anyway, uh, you get the idea. I might use this little guy and just, Yep, there we go. That looks about good. Um, so yeah, I'll bring you guys back when the welding's done. All right, so this is pretty self-explanatory. Like I said, for the initial run, I kept it really simple. I just welded it straight to it. We'll see how it goes. I did put this crazy brace. Um, one of the problems I anticipate having is when I get 1,500, 2,000 pounds on it, if it can't hold it up, then I'll have to put a wheel in the receiver, like a tube, a receiver tube. Uh, you can buy them at like Harbor Freight for like 30 bucks. So I'll get some hip stock and bolt one of those casters to it to kind of help support it a little bit, or maybe two, like a, like a tag axle on a big truck. But we'll see. Um, Right now, there's really, it's pretty simple. Oh, that was an unintended consequence. <laughs> you can't go all the way up. Live and learn. Or maybe I need to lengthen that top link. If I push that out so that that's more straight, it won't hit. I guess I'll have to do that. But, uh, I'm going to scoot that gantry back and get some of that shit out of the cab and that door off and we'll see what we can do here. So how's that saying go? Men make plans and the gods laugh. See how this goes. I think we can call that a success boys not entirely I mean there were flaws not quite enough clearance um, and it didn't pick it up squarely with the way I had it but I will construct something better
to get it on the other chassis. I was hoping before I tried to do it with straps and they just pinched together so I put that board but I need to like do hooks to spread it out so that it can lift more squarely but yeah we're uh we're in business man and get this shit out of here uh but there you go I mean that's a 1200 pound cab 1100 pound cab I don't know sweet deal hope this helps you because I'm gonna move all my junk around with this garbage now so thanks for watching the driveway engineer and we'll see you next time